One of the questions I obviously get asked every year, how do we know when the plants are going to flower? So probably a good example here, this is a plant that is, I would call it a second or a reject plant. And you can see how the waste of the plant is quite fat. So normally a plant that's not going to flower would be fairly thin. So what in this case I'm going to do is I'm not going to use the machete. I'm going to uh, use the machete to get the pot off, if it'll come off. If not, use the good old hammer. Right, okay, failing that, it's elbow grease. So that plant's been in that pot too long. It needs removal. So it will come. It's the last thing I do. <laughs> there it goes. Right, so well overdue for potting up. You can see why it was so tight. You might wonder where has the soil gone because the only soil that came out from the middle was this double handful of material and that's it. So where's it gone? I asked the question, where has it gone? Because that's it. And the answer is interesting. The answering that this plant has consumed all the potting mix. All the potting mix, all this hard bark, has been converted by fungi, by symbiotic, by the symbiotic relationship. In there, there's microfungus that you can't see. It produces oxalic acid. Oxalic acid combines with the um, with the uh, sorry with the calcium that I put on the plants and then that becomes our calcium oxalate and that dissolves the bark. So it's been fed. There is a pocket of bark in the middle, not very big. So if we just feed that out. So there's virtually no potting mix left in that and that pot was full. So if I show you with all the bark, that's it. So it's consumed half a pot. In this case, we're going to sacrifice this plant for science. So I'm going to find the central part because I want to show you and other observers how we can tell that the plant is growing. So there's the dead center of the plant. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get a knife and as best I can, I'm going to cut straight through the middle of that plant. Now, I drifted off a little bit to one side. So, actually pretty good. Pretty good. So if we have a look, that leaf is folded up in the, oh no, yeah, it's a little bit compressed in the middle. There's a leaf folded there. There was a leaf folded there. So, we have a look. Keep on coming down. And there is the center of the plant in there. So that had a leaf folded over. And we're coming down to the meristem and we're just about there. So if I lift that piece up very carefully, that contains the floral part is in there. So I've missed it by a whisker. So we'll see if we can show it to you. Wow. There we are. Wow. There's the flowers. There's one, two. And there's another one hidden behind this little sheath of leaf. I'll, I'll just open it out and put it down. So there's the flowers sitting in the middle of the plant. The triggering is starting. This is the triggering. This is compression in here. This has started to move up. So the leaves are actually building up and pushing their way up through the middle here. So there's the new flowers right in the center of the plant. Below that is the meristematic tissue in through here. That's meristematic tissue. 
that's where all the active growth comes. I'll just put a line and show you where the, most of the active growth takes from there upwards. So the leaves form and the flowers form from this middle section. Down in here you can see where all the roots are. So there's the roots and you can see how I've cut the roots off. So uh, you might say, has this chance, uh, has this plant any chance of surviving? And my answer is absolutely, no doubt about it. So I know that we've lost the growth period from apart from here, but there's enough. Oops, there's enough nutriment in the plant. If I go like this, like that, that plant put back into a pot will, after a period of time, throw pups. It'll throw pups probably out of the side in here, possibly out of here. It'll certainly grow new roots around here and eventually you'll get a new plant coming. So that's what the inside of a plant looks like. That's the, the very centre. So we got it the first go. So there's another one over here. You can see this. Oh, actually there were more umbels. There were two umbels. So here's the other. Here's the second umbel in here. Just starting to form and possibly another one over there. Now there's your second umbel. So there were two umbels were going to come up on that in one go. The first one was buried under here on, on my left. Your right as you look. The first one was buried in there that we uncovered. And here's the other one here. So that's the other umbel just starting to form. So uh, that's why you have to put potash on the plants to get the triggering to happen. Uh, but I'm not going to go through and pull one of my best plants apart. You can see what the inside of a plant looks like now. Okay, that's where the flowering initiates from, inside of a clivia.